How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, Slipjoint Sawyer here. Today we're going to be taking a look at another case knife. Been on a pretty big case knife kick of recent. Um, I know a lot of the creators, Thrifty Kniffy, RJ, they've all had some good case knives in. Um, and I've come across this medium stockman. And so we'll take a look at the box to start with. So it comes in the standard sort of grey WR case and sons box. You've know, got the America flag in the background. You see there the flag made up of all different knives, which is quite a nice touch. Case logo, website just there. I can see website again here. Standard sort of cancer and reproductive harm, but only in California. So RJ, that's only for you. Tested XX. And then if we have a look there, you can see it is the number 23614. And it's the navy blue synthetic smooth medium stockman. So quite a mouthful. And then you've got the model number there which is the or the pattern number sorry is 4344 and ss stands for stainless steel as you can see here this one is from the 18th of march 2021 so we'll take a quick look at the knife together <clears throat> so here it is this is the case blue synthetic stockman medium stockman i should say you see it's got that really nice deep rich i would say that's sort of like a navy blue Really nice transitions on this one. Can't feel the bolsters, pins, shield, can't feel any of that at all. It does have the sort of standard oval shield there with case XX written in it. You see the back springs came beautifully polished and with no gaps whatsoever. You've got the steel springs and the brass liners. On the reverse of the knife, again, nickel silver bolsters, brass pins, all flush, nothing obscure, nothing you wouldn't expect for the fit and finish. Top down view, see it's the standard stockman pattern. You have a clip, a sheep's foot, and this one actually has what looks like a pen blade, but we'll go into that when we get to it. See the nice squared off bolsters, pretty much my favorite sort of shape for a stockman. Nothing wrong with the round-ended ones, I just think for my aesthetic, the, the squared off ones I do prefer. And you can see, as for a medium stockman, this is their standard sort of 1, 2, 3, 3.25 inch stockman. So we'll have a quick look at the blades together. You can see you have this really nice clip point blade with an excellent grind on this blade in particular. Nice and even all the way along. You do get that case xx tang stamp and as i mentioned on the box it was a 2021 so one dot's been taken away so that means it's a 21 so there'll be nine dots remaining it's nice clean nail neck just there and no half stops on this traditional sort of pattern all the way around and a nice sort of snap i would say not too light i'd say it's probably a five and a half six at max for the pull on this stockman but it's, it's a medium knife. It's not going to be used for any sort of heavy use. And as I always say, choke up on the kick and you've got no worries at all. Can see there is quite a bit of blade rub there from the sheep's foot blade. But as I've said before, with the Stockman, you're squeezing that them three blades into such a small gap. You kind of have you kind of have to just deal with the blade rub. I mean, all my Stockmans and most of my knives are, I used to do all my work anyway. So it's going to get some sort of wear and tear on it doesn't really bother me at all we'll take a look at the sheep's foot blade and this is where i'm having a bit of issues with their quality with the next two blades you can see meant to be a sheep's foot blade it's meant to be straight across but they've ground it in such a way it's more like a ram's foot blade where you have small here and then gets larger towards the edge and that's the rub there you can see which rubs on the on the clip point blade apart from that though it's a nice looking blade you get the USA 4344SS tang stamp on there with a nice clean nail neck. Even though they've kind of ground this a bit weird, the grind is relatively even and it did come razor sharp out of the box. So, and as I said, it's, it's going to be a user knife for me, so it's not the end of the world. And the one blade I do have the issue with, though, is the grind on this pen blade. I'm not sure what was going on in the factory that day. Maybe this was like a Friday evening knife, but this side seems pretty good. But I don't know if they, what, coughed or sneezed when they were grinding it, but I mean, just see how high up that grind goes on there. I mean, it's razor sharp, yes, but 
I mean that the sort of blade is is pretty much ruined really. Just I feel like this one should have been maybe taken apart and put a new pen blade in it or something, but I'll live with it. I'll I'll sharpen it myself and see how I can get it. So I'll probably post a picture when I've sharpened it so you can see the sort of improvements to it. But you can see there. SS on the tang stamp for stainless steel and again pretty nice pull on this blade five and a half to six plenty really for a medium stockman uh, exactly the same really for the sheep's foot five and a half to six so we'll take a look at some blade length now just line this up here so you can have a full blade length of one two just shy of two and a half and then a cutting edge of one just shy of two and two and a quarter so a nice easy uk and world legal knife i know a lot of places have blade length restrictions and some places in europe you're allowed to have longer knives but they have to be two hand opening so this sort of fits that bill you know where you have a shorter blade and you in it there's no way to one hand open this knife you can't sort of you can't thumb roll it or anything so it's definitely a two hand open knife so it does make it a nice legal knife around the world and we'll took, I take a look at the sheep's foot blade. You can see we have a blade length there of one, just over one and a half, and then a cutting edge of just over one and a quarter inches. And then we have the pen blade, full length of just over one and a, one and a half, and then a cutting edge of just right about one and a quarter. Overall, I am happy with this knife based on you know the sort of the fit and finish really sort of good quality back springs the externals I, I might pretty much give the externals a 10 out of 10 everything's smooth everything's flush it came nice and polished there's no blade wobble on any of the blades they all fit in there reasonably well for me medium stockman the blade i would use most anyway would be this sort of clip point blade for the work i would be doing and then occasionally the sheep's foot blade so I think really for the pen blade, if I just sharpen it and get it a nice sharp edge on there, it'll mainly just be staying in there and be used as a backup blade for me. So I don't really have any worries about that at all. Did say, you know, the grind's pretty bad on it, but I mean, I'll get over it. I'll, I'll sharpen it out and we'll see what we've got after it's done. But I really do enjoy the clip points on these Stockmans. I don't know about you guys, but there's going to be a lot more coming for my collection. I know I've, I've pretty much got the, I've got the bug for a case Stockman. So there we go guys, that's my review of the Case Medium Stockman, the blue synthetic, uh, blue synthetic smooth. And we'll just take a look at the numbers on that again, it's the 23614 and then it's pattern number 4344. I hope you all enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.